Get out, all of you. Quickly. Rachel, come here. Silence. Men to the right, children to the left. Get undressed, all of you. Ready? Fire! On June 22, 1941, German troops marched into Lithuania and occupied its capital, Vilna. Within six months, the Germans had murdered more than 55,000 Jews in the forest of Pona near Vilna. The 15,000 who survived were squeezed into a ghetto of seven narrow streets run by a Jewish council set up by the Germans.
May I take a pair of shoes? Please. Get back to work! Hey! Over here. Take that off. Give her a dress. Put it on. Don't you know it's forbidden for Jewish women to get pregnant? Come here. Come closer. Show me what you've got there. One kilo of beans? Who did you buy it from? You didn't buy it. You stole it. You stole the killer of beans from the army depot. To the wall! March! Stop! Hold! Arate! Stop! Stop it! You crazy nut! He's going to kill us. <laughs> Who are you? He gave her the beans. That's a lie. Blow his brains out. Rid the world of this rat. Shut up. <laughs> Did you give her the beans? Yes or no? No. God forbid. This woman is not a thief. This is Chaya, the nightingale of the ghetto. Before the wash was a star, now she's got nowhere to perform. No opera house, no concert hall, not even this tiny theater. She's starving. <laughs> Everyone over here. Gessler. Yes, sir. Bring those scales. You've got 30 seconds to pick up every bean she stole. Go! Shrulik, the crazy ventriloquist, had given performances for scraps of bread to the guards at the ghetto gate with his mute doll, Lena. How much? 940 grams, sir. You're 60 grams short. How will you pay? Shall I use this? Or that? Choose. Oh? 
Why didn't you say so? I think one of our songs. S'il vous plaît, madame. The dead can't sing. So it was worth 10 grams of beans. I'll give you a chance to prove that artist was 50 grams of beans. Dessler! Yes, sir. Call the ghetto council to my office. At once. But be careful. One false note. And you've finished. So this was the master of life and death in Vilna. His name was Kittel. He was 22 years old. A rumor spread like wildfire through the ghetto. Kittel's mission was to liquidate it. Jakob Gens, head of the Jewish ghetto police, ordered flogging and arrest for anyone caught spreading these rumors. <laughs> 